Okay, YouTube. I finally got it done. This is, uh, I call it the relic. It's um, basically a little Coleco tabletop Pac-Man that uh, wasn't working. I bought it on eBay. It was a non-working uh, unit. And basically tore all the insides out and made a little uh, arcade machine out of it using a Raspberry Pi computer and um, a special build of uh, main called Pi Main, thanks to the Shea Silverman blog. And uh, I'm going to actually have some links to some of the sources that I used um, and everything at the uh, bottom of this video for anybody that wants to take a look at some of that stuff. So I also have a link to the build thread um, where I actually documented the whole build process on bar, uh, bartopmania.com. So um, anyway, this is it. I'll take a turn around a little bit and kind of show you some different angles of it. Uh, did up the artwork myself. I basically printed that myself as well. There's the power jack volume. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and plug it in and boot it up. Okay, I'm going to turn it on here. There's a little power switch here. As you can see, I've got a lighted marquee there. Used a couple little LED lights. I actually had to hand cut all of this out by hand using a razor blade. You can see the little custom uh, custom boot boot loading screen there comes up. It doesn't take too long to load. I tried to use a faster SD card um, to to load uh, the operating system on. I never really timed it though. I guess 30 45 seconds or so. I guess. Okay, and it boots right into the uh, to the menu here, and this screen is so small. I mean, you can't read any of the text or anything for the games, but you basically just look at the screenshots, and you can kind of see what the games are. If you if you're familiar with the games, you kind of recognize them by the screenshot. So you use a little joystick. You can um, you can barely probably see it, but to select the game, kind of has like a little flashing ring around it. Um, so you basically just pick the game you know that you that you want to play. And I'll go down here and find a familiar game. Let's see. Let's look at Miss Pac-Man. So once you have the game highlighted, you just hit the start button here. And there it is. So the coin button. Of course, the Namco games I've got, they're on they're on free play, so I don't really have to use the coin button. But um, I'll just hit start again to start it up. And I'm not going to sit here and play for a long time because I know that's boring. But I just want to kind of show you guys that it does work. And the sound's not real loud, but it's, you know, plenty loud enough for this little tabletop guy here. I said I wasn't going to play for a long time, but you guys know this Pac-Man can be very addictive. So anyway, I'll show you here. The pause button works, and so you know, get pause, and then I can hit exit to escape, and then I'll take back to the main menu again. So anyway, I just kind of show you guys that it does work and what it looks like, uh, fully functional, and all completed. So there it is again. Took quite a while to get this thing together, but. Uh, I actually took a break from it for almost a year and then uh, picked it back up again a couple months ago. So, I hope you guys liked it. I'll try to answer any questions I can if you all have any questions, but um, uh, you can learn a lot from uh, reading through that build thread over at bartopmania.com. I've pretty much documented the whole process over there, so if you're interested, you can check it out. So, anyway, thanks for watching. You guys take care.